Holding on to control is stopping your life from exploding in so many different ways. And when you begin to let go, you allow magic to come into your life. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the simple way to let go of control, to let go of the certainty that you may crave so that you can allow something much more magical in your life and enjoy the process along the way. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness and raise their vibration by making spirituality both practical and relatable. Now, if you haven't already, you can subscribe below. I make videos about three, four times a week. Used to be every day, but now I'm doing things a little bit different. You wanna know one of those reasons? I have let go of control. That's right. Back in the day, maybe only like two months ago, I was making almost daily videos on YouTube. And before that, uh, for about three years, I was making daily videos on YouTube. And one of the reasons, one, was because I was a little control freak. <laughs> I like to control to make, to make the videos. I started to get a sense of certainty and I started to associate me taking a lot of action with making videos with something that was very comfortable for me. And it got to a point to where, um, you know, that led to my success on YouTube in many ways. So I started to get rewarded for it. And then I started to feel that sense of certainty where I wanted the channel to keep growing, to keep reaching more people. But the trap that I fell in is that I could feel myself becoming more rigid. I could feel myself feeling like I was more in a box. I then started feeling like I had to make videos instead of wanting to make videos. And I realized that it was affecting other areas of my life. It was affecting my relationships with friends. It was affecting my, um, my sense of, of, my own sense of happiness as well. And I just realized I was also becoming a more uptight, you know, like an assistant that I was uh, starting to be much more strict with. I, I had this, I just was realizing certain aspects of myself as I was getting to this point of seeing that uh, I was getting benefit from it, but then knowing intuitively that it was time to let go. Now, of course, I didn't let go of completely making videos, but I let go of the mindset and the control factor that was so rampantly like running my life. And one of the things that allowed me to do this is I had to let go of the certainty that I knew I was getting from control. That's what control really is. Our sense of control has many times come from something in the past when we were kids where something happened and in that moment we had to make a choice about who we are, we had to be a certain way, and then we began to value that certainty. Let me tell you kind of a weird story about how I know that I crave that certainty as well. That control, because for a long period of my life, somebody else had control over me, if you know my past. And I'll share a little bit of it. I know some of you watch my videos a lot, thank you. <laughs> so it might sound a little bit repetitive, but this is key to understanding because when you do the shadow work and you start to go inside, you can see why you crave what you crave, why you crave certainty. Now, when I was 16 years old, my dad divorced my ex-stepmom. My ex-stepmom was in my life from seven years old to 16 years old. I had a younger brother that was two, three years younger than me. We both went through a lot of pain. We weren't allowed to have friends. Every area of our life was controlled, even the amount of food that we were allowed to eat. A lot of times we were locked outside doing chores. We had to earn going to school activities. Very much rules, very much structure. Now my dad divorced her when I was 16 years old and I remember that feeling all of a sudden, my brother and I are allowed to watch TV. We're allowed to have friends. We're allowed to eat the food we wanna eat. Those, many, many, many of those rules went away. And in that feeling of uncertainty, there was something about it that felt kind of scary. I remember thinking to myself like, huh, at least when I was being controlled, I felt this sense of security. But I didn't feel that security now. And I think that this is also why I can understand why some women may go back to abusive relationships or people in general may go into uh, abusive relationships because even though they're in an abusive relationship, if they're comfortable with it, if they feel certain of it, even if they're certain that they're not happy, they feel a sense of safety. So I can see why because 16 years old when I experienced that, I was like, whoa, what is this uncertainty feeling? It was almost anxiety. So now this is what happened. My dad divorced her when I was 16. I then went, I was working a, a, a sales job, commission sales job, so I could kind of control my own paycheck. And then eventually I said, I don't want to be here anymore after literally like eight years. And then I finally went full time and made the choice to make daily videos. I started to have a sense of willpower. 
that level of control, that level of uh, willpower started to give me benefit. I started to feel like, oh, the things in my life are changing. Things in my life are, are really happening for me now. And it was a beneficial thing. The problem was that then it remained on autopilot even after I got to a point to where, hey, now I need to take some of my energy and put it into live events, into some of this other stuff. It was like I was, I was afraid to. And I realized that when there was a time when I went to do um, to Costa Rica, I was doing plant medicine, I was on vacation there. And I, I, had like, I was only there eight days. And those eight days, I was, like, where, I was like, I need to make videos, I need to make videos, I need to make videos. I was like, where is this coming from? I realized I had a belief that like in order for me to be worthy, in order for me to, if I'm not controlling this, then everything I built can fall down. But let me tell you something. Anytime I have let go of control, magic comes into my life. Magic, literally best case scenarios, better case scenarios than I could even imagine. That happened when I remember when I was controlling the outcome of what other people thought of me. On YouTube, I was known for making certain types of videos. I said, you don't want to make videos that are way out there, way esoteric. Guess what happened? Floods and floods of energy and, and um, an explosion of growth happened. Anytime I have let go of control, magic happens. Now, when we value certainty, one thing that we may be quick to do is to rush to decisions. Because even if we make a decision, even if it's the wrong decision, at least we have the certainty of we know what we chose. <laughs> Procrastinator, that's on the other side of this. Sometimes we procrastinate because we're so safe and comfortable in the certainty of what we're already in that we might as well put off something new happening. So these are two coin, two-sided coin of that of value of certainty. Now, the thing that I want to show you is the difference between what you're holding on to. What you're holding on is a sense of security. What you're holding on to is a sense of certainty. But when you realize that you have simply been associating pleasure with it, pleasure with being in, in control, then you can begin to see how to let it go. And one of the things I recommend you do is you imagine what point in your past did you decide that you had to crave certainty or you had to be a certain way. Because then once you see that, you can see that this whole thing, this whole craving certainty, this whole craving to control things, it's just a story. It's a story you've bought into, a story about reality that if you control things, then you can feel safe. But notice this, everything in the universe is constantly changing. So happiness then goes to an expense, is like an expensable thing because then it's like everything's always changing and you're always feeling yourself have to adjust. But the key to this is being aware of the story you tell yourself about who you are and how things need to be. <clears throat> now, one of the things you could begin to do is to understand surrender and being okay with the present moment, no matter what it brings. This moment is good enough. Control, when people are in control factor issues or having control issues, is because of the certainty they crave, but also they're trying to change the now moment. They want it to be different. That's why they have to control it instead of going with the flow. And the reason you have not let go of control is because you have not felt that it is beneficial. You have not understood the magic of it yet. You have not experienced it. You're still remaining rigid with the meaning of things in your life. Now, what I mean by this is that you may have seen that scale of consciousness that I share in many videos. Oh, Daniel put it up right here. Scale of consciousness, fear, anger, shame under that. <laughs> Neutrality, willingness. Then eventually you have that of acceptance, reasoning, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. Now, reasoning in below is the perspectives that we have. It's the intellectual mind. And what happens when the mind is staying rigid to meaning, remember, everything in life is fundamentally neutral. It has no built-in meaning other than the meaning we give it. The problem is that we give certain things meaning, certain stories meaning. I need to control my life. We buy into it. And then that becomes our reality, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then we carry the weight of our shoulders, the weight on our shoulders. The key to this is becoming aware of that story about your identity, that story about your life that you have to control things. You don't have to control things and you'll find that if you allow the universe and you let go of a lot of things, things will happen in a much more magical way than you can even imagine. So the key to this is understanding that nothing magical can happen in the known. Think about it. The known is how you consistently think, act, and feel. If you do these three things, how you consistently think, act, and feel every day, you're gonna get the same thing you've always got. If you remain control and you're trying to control those things, you're trying to stay within that structure, then guess what? You're gonna to continue to get the familiar things.
But when you step into the unknown, that's where magic can happen because then the neuroplasticity in your mind, the way that you think you can't jump to the same and, and fire the same neurons in the brain because there's new stimulation here. What do I do? That's when you can create something new. So if you find yourself staying in a relationship because of that sense of certainty, even though you know it's not right or it's abusive, if you find yourself staying in that job that you know isn't your passion, but guess what? You're certain of it. You're procrastinating to actually move into that. Realize that what you are doing is keeping yourself in a little box and it is going to become more and more uncomfortable. It's going to become more and more rigid and eventually you're just going to want to break out of it. So might as well break out of it now by stepping into the unknown to create magic in your life. The reason you have not let go of control is because you associate pleasure with it. This is the way all motivation works. Motivation works this way. We always move in the direction of what we think brings us pleasure and we always move away from what we believe brings us pain. So if you want to eat healthy food, for example, and you associate pleasure with eating healthy food because of how it makes you feel and you associate pain with eating McDonald's, then guess what? It's going to be easier for you to do that. But if you associate pain with eating healthy food and you associate pleasure and tastiness of the short term gain of eating McDonald's, then it's going to be harder. See, the best thing about this is the story and the motivational mechanism is up to you. It's just that in the past, you've, been, you've gotten pleasure from being in control or from some time that a parent controlled you and then you decided that you had to control as well, even after that parent isn't around you as much anymore. So the key to this is to flip the switch. Flip it. That Drake, the Drake TikTok. <laughs> um, so control. So flip that switch, okay? And realize that instead of having pleasure to control and certainty and pain to letting go, have pleasure to letting go and pain to control. And realize that you, and the way you do this is you literally think of times you let go that magic happened or times you let go that you were able to relieve and feel relaxed. And think of the pain of when you were holding on, the rigidity. And as you begin to switch these, you'll begin to feel differently from it. So realize the moment right now is good enough. The, the key is realizing and accepting the now moment for what it is. It doesn't need to change it. You don't need more certainty of it. It's just a story you tell yourself that oh, I need to be in control. But here's the thing as well. Values and intentions. If you are having intentions from a set of values, if you value growth, contribution, love, connection, and you make choices and set intentions from that level, then what you can do is feel confident that the bearing of that action is not up to you. You don't need to control it. Your job is to make decisions and choices in that power. Not necessarily in the certainty, maybe it's in the unknown, a step into the unknown, but you make choices based on your integrity. And if you do that, then you can really let go and you can watch magic happen. You see, the ego is not meant to do, this is an avatar body. This is not meant to do everything. It's not meant to control everything. When you begin to let go is when magic will come into your life. Now, there's of course a balance here though. Because then there's some people that just let go of everything, that have no control over anything, and then they may find that they're on the opposite side of that spectrum, but most likely they didn't click on this video. So realize there's a balance point of both of these things. If you have zero control and 100% let go, that's debatable. I'm sure some people can say, no, just let go. You know, there's a book called The Surrender Experiment. Um, I'm sure that it's possible. But what I found is a nice middle way. I like the middle way. The middle way is just so beautiful. A little bit of control, a lot, of, little bit of, even a little control is still that safety mechanism now that I think about it. <laughs> but control, at least having, I mean, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think that all control is bad. I think having, a, maybe that's just the certainty ego inside of me saying that though. But in general, the, the main message of this video is to be aware of what side of the spectrum you're on, how much you're valuing certainty, and can you give it up a little bit and just relax and enjoy life? And you'll find that if you do, you let go and you allow magic into your life, literally magic. And if you haven't already, I have meditations that will help you to get through this process. Some of the most powerful meditations I've made are here below. Some of them have millions of views, many people saying it's transformed their life, so it's possible for you to have a similar experience. Read the comments, see what's possible. That also increases belief. You'll see that playlist right here of all my meditations. Other than that, as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace, much love, and namaste.